going on in Kwale County. Let's move on to other news. The government has hinted of plans to reopen the tourism sector this August, kickstarting a recovery process after billions of losses for players in the sector. The sector alone accounts to over 170 billion shillings in government revenue. The Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Najib Balala, says the government is liaising with global partners and protocols are already in place to be implemented once the country is reopened. The Minister of uh, Finance or the National Treasury has announced three billion as a refurbishment fund uh, for those old hotels to be given soft loans so that they can be able to refurbish their products. Yes, it's just been announced, so it has a whole process of parliament. The minute the parliamentary process is over, we, ha we are also in the process of creating the, the, the legal framework and also the guidelines how this money will be, will be dished out, but definitely. Uh, three billion shilling is a drop in the ocean, but that is what the budget is available for now. The protocols are ready. The minute the country is opened, uh, we will roll out those protocols. But those protocols are not only unique for Kenya. They are global protocols which have been endorsed. And we are working with World Tourism and Travel Council to get the stamp or the certification that our protocols are compliant internationally. We need to change our mindset. We need to appreciate the domestic market is valuable. It has been valuable even before. And we are lucky in Kenya, at least we have a strong domestic market. In other countries, they have been only relying on the international market and now they are suffering because it will take time for the long-haul destination like Kenya or Africa to open up to international markets. You have seen in some other countries, South Africa has said they are opening to international travel 2021. Uh, parts of Europe, they are saying, they don't allow their citizens to travel out of Europe until 2021. So these are the challenges we will have. And, re uh, and, and realistically speaking, uh, the aviation industry needs to start working or operating so that the tourism industry to be successful. Now, a group of 